2021 Holiday Storytime from the Ontario Public Library. And guess what? It is, as you already know, Christmas week. Hooray! Are you guys so excited? I know that you're always really excited around this time of year, as is everybody else. So we are going to read a more funny story. Last week, we read The Grinch, and it was really long, and it was pretty fun. But we're going to read a more silly one today that's going to talk a little bit more about elves and the naughty and the nice list. But I wanted to remind you guys that the library is open all of this week until Friday. We're off on Friday and we're off on Monday, the 27th, and then we will be there for almost all of next week and then we'll be off on Friday again. So you guys come and visit us. We will still have Christmas books and Miss Anne is hoping that she will finally get her last shipment of new books in before the end of the year so you guys can see all of these really cool books that I ordered. And if you haven't been in a while, all the books will be new and cool because Miss Anne only gets new and cool books. When you guys have time off in the next couple weeks, come and visit us at the library. We are having everybody wear masks as the mandate is saying. So make sure you bring one. If you forget, we have some at the desk and we're always happy to give you guys some because we want us all to be safe and visiting at the library at the same time. Let's talk about this week's book. It is, There is an Elf in Your Book. And it is by Tom Fletcher and it's illustrated by Greg Abbott. And in this book, there's this elf right here. I love that a lot of people have different interpretations of what elves look like. This elf, as you can see, is kind of a green guy, but elves come in all shapes, sizes, colors, everything. I love that we can be whatever your imagination wants to give you. There's enough for that. In this book, they talk a little bit about the naughty and the nice list. So the naughty and the nice list is something that we don't even really talk about that much anymore. At least Miss Anne thinks we don't talk about it that much anymore. Maybe you talk about it more at your house. It comes from the song, or you might be familiar with it from the song, you know, you better watch out, you better not cry, you better not shout, I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town. You know that one? And he's making a list and he's checking it twice. Santa has a list and he has a list for good kids that he's bringing presents to and bad kids that he's not bringing presents to. I don't know of any kids that I know, and I know almost all of you guys, that I would put on the naughty list. Sometimes we do naughty things, but, you know, I don't think that should 100% put us on the naughty list. As long as we're really trying and we say we're sorry after we do a naughty thing and try not to do it again, I think those are ways to definitely get on the nice list, right? I mean, I have some pull with Santa. We've talked about it. I mean, Santa's magical. He doesn't tell me everything, but I think he agrees with Miss Anne. This book is a pretty quick one. So if you're looking for a longer story, Miss Anne is going to put links to all of the stories that we have read for the holiday season so far on this post so that you can click through to any of them. And... Um, we're going to put some up that we did last year too. So if you're feeling like you're missing Miss Anne and you can't come to the library, you'll be able to spend lots of time with Miss Anne because I have stories for days. It could take you through almost the whole holiday season, you know, from Christmas to New Year's. If you have not watched any of them before, you could do a Miss Anne story every day. How lucky would that be? This book is one of those books where I am going to ask you to actually participate with this story. That means it's the book's gonna tell you to do some stuff and you're gonna have to do it. Are you ready? We're gonna practice, okay? Before we even start the book. Okay, first thing you have to do is clap your hands. Can you guys clap your hands? Excellent. Can you touch your head? Very good. Can you touch your chin? How about your forehead? How about your eyebrows? How about your cheeks? Your smiley cheeks? Your mouth? See? Can you stand up? Can you sit back down? All right, I probably could make you do all sorts of stuff, but we'll be here all day. And we're just gonna go in the book and see what the elf is gonna ask you to do. 
okay? Because, as we already talked about, there is indeed an elf in this book. Mm -hmm. Do you see him? Oh, look! There is an elf in your book. The elf is here to do the nice list test with you. Oh, like we talked about, the nice list test. Okay, it's going to see if you're a, a nice kid, which I know you all are. You need to be on the nice list if you want Santa to bring you Christmas presents. I guess. For you to pass the test, the elf will ask you to do some nice things. But watch out. This elf, you can tell can be a little mischievous. Do you guys know what mischievous means? I think it means a little bit sneaky and just almost over to naughty. Not quite naughty, but like sneaky tricky. And he does it because he thinks it's funny. Don't get tricked into being naughty, okay? All right, are we ready? We're about to take the test. We're going to turn the page. Let's start with an easy one. Oh, we almost already did this one. Touch your nose. All right, you guys did it? I don't think this can be naughty, just touching your nose. All right, to see if you pass the test, we're gonna turn the page. Keep touching your nose. I can't because I have to turn the page. <gasps> Good job! You touched your nose, you passed the test. Now, blow a Christmas kiss. Ready? Ready? Blow a kiss. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you do it? Do you think that was a nice thing to do? I think it was a nice thing to do. Let's see if we passed. Good job. What a lovely Christmas kiss. You passed the second test. Now, can you sing a cheery Christmas song? Ooh. What cheery Christmas song should we sing? Mm-hmm. Yell some out to me so I can hear. Mm-hmm. Okay. Those are good. I don't know if everyone knows the words to that one, though. Jingle Bells. Everyone knows the beginning of Jingle Bells. So let's sing that one together. Ready? Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. All right. Did you guys sing along? I hope so, because I think that was a nice thing to do. Let's see if we passed. <gasps> the elf says that was beautiful singing. You passed the third test. Say, I'm a Weisenheimer sparkle butt. <gasps> Wait, that sounds like a naughty trick. I think that elf is testing you. Don't say, don't say it. I'm a Weisenheimer sparkle butt. Do not say it, because I don't think that'll pass. <gasps> Phew, it was a trick. Thank goodness you didn't say it. You passed the fourth test. How is the nice list test going so far, Elf? Giving you a great big thumbs up. Awesome, keep it up. Now name Santa's most famous reindeer. Okay, shout them out to me. Uh-huh. Okay. Do you think that one's the most famous one? I mean, really? I mean, we have Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donder, and Blitzen. But who do you guys think is the most famous one? It's in that song. Do you think it's Rudolph? I think it's Rudolph. But, I mean, maybe your favorite one is one of the other ones. <gasps> the elf says that it's Rudolph. We were right. We passed the fifth test. We are great at this. You guys are especially great. Miss Anne is okay. Now, do your loudest, stinkiest pizza burp. <gasps> Ew. No. I think that elf is tricking us. Don't do it. Miss Anne's going to try and stop you. Did you already do it? Yikes. Stop, 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 stop. Don't do it. I think. Do you think? Miss Ann thinks this is another naughty elf trick. It was another trick. Good catch on our parts. 
you guys are very smart. Don't get tricked by this elf. Keep this up and you'll be on the nice list in no time. So says the elf. What's up next? I like that the elf is peeking. Do you see him peeking to the next page? All right, it's the final question. Ooh, the final question. Make the elf laugh. All right, how would you make an elf laugh? I think you could make a funny face. You could try to do a secret trick that you know is very funny. I know you guys all have very silly tricks. You show me all the time. Here, it's saying to make elf laugh, you will have to tell a joke. Do you guys know any jokes? They have the Christmas joke book. We're gonna turn the page and see. The elf looks especially low. He loves the Christmas joke book. Those are the jokes he loves the best. Okay, here is the joke that the elf picked for you to ask, you know, cause you have to ask the joke. You have to say the first part of the joke, the setup part of the joke. And the elf says, this is what you have to say. What do elves do in the toilet? So that's what you're supposed to say. What do you guys think? Should you say it? Should you not say that joke? I don't know, it doesn't sound like it's a nice thing to say. I think a lot of grown-ups wouldn't like it if you said that. Do you know what elves do in the toilet? I can tell you at the end of the joke. Do you wanna see? Jingle smells! The elf is laughing really, really hard. He thinks jingle smells is very, very funny. Do you think it's really, really funny? I don't know. It seems like it might be sort of naughty. Oh no! The joke was a mischievous elf trick to make you say something naughty. Does this mean you failed the test? Oh no, did you say it? Did you say the joke? What do owls do in the toilet? Jingle smells? I'm not sure which part of that was really naughty, maybe the whole thing all together. I think that it is a dirty joke that grown-ups wouldn't like for sure. So don't say that one to a grown-up. They might not like it. Did you fail because you said that? Surely you can't be on the nice list if you've done something naughty, which I guess is to tell this joke. It looks like the elf feels bad for tricking you though. That's good. But rules are rules. <sighs> that means the elf is kind of saying that you guys are all on the naughty list. I don't know. Let's ooh, hang on a second. The test was to make Elf laugh and you did make Elf laugh. He laughed and laughed and laughed. We saw him. So you passed the nice list test because the test was to make the Elf laugh. And even if you had to do something a little naughty, I guess you still passed because you made him laugh. So hooray, you are on the nice list. And look, what is this? It's your official nice list certificate. You can see, look at this, this is a nice little certificate. And it says, if you leave this book out on Christmas Eve, Santa will want to check it. Until then, Merry Christmas and stay nice. But unfortunately, we don't have enough of these books to go around, obviously for everyone. If you come to the library pretty soon, Miss Anne will have this back on display. But if you take a screenshot, of this right here. I will put it up big on the screen. You know, maybe leave your phone out. Maybe tell your grown up to leave your phone out. And it'll say that you officially are on the nice list if you want to. Because you did read the whole book with me and you all did all the things. So you are officially on the nice list too. Congratulations! And Merry Christmas, you guys. We will be back for one more holiday story next week. It'll be an after Christmas story. I think it's kind of a, a cool, fun one. It's actually, if you want to have some inside trivia, Miss Sands' little brother Ethan's favorite Christmas story. So she's doing it because he likes it. Have a happy week. Take time to enjoy what you're doing this week. And we will see you next week for one more holiday story. Oh, and click on any of the links if you want to watch more Miss Ann stories, Miss Ann holiday stories. Happy holidays, you guys. See you next week. Bye.